What's going on YouTube? This is Seamus99 back bringing you Epic War episode, uh, I believe this is episode 8. Continuing onwards, we are going to Battlefield, yeah, Battlefield 8. So every Battlefield gets an episode, so we would be episode 8. Ugly men? <laughs> I feel like this chapter is referring to me, I don't know why. It's clearly referring to Lazlin. That's why Lazlin doesn't want to do a face reveal, because he played this game a long time ago. And played Chapter 9, Ugly Men. And ever since then, he's been ashamed of showing his face. Um, Lazlin said that if I visit the credits, I unlock The Hobbit from the first game. Which, uh, that's interesting enough for me to actually visit it, because I want Hobbit. Lead project, Rudy Sudarko. Sudar Sudartu. Programmer, Fairy Sudartu. So it's like a brother and a brother. That made this game, okay. Illustrator, animator, Efron Tegar Avfufu, that's a word, uh, that's another word, sound artist, Sikak Bor, special thanks to Edwin Nicholas Gang. Well, that was, that was so amazing. Let me just tell you about how amazing that was. So with the help of the paladin and his troops, okay, so yeah, in the last episode I met a, a paladin came with uh, reinforcements to help me, so... With the help of the paladin and his troops, you and your army managed to steal away the, uh, to the secret base hidden deep in the icy forests of the Southwest Elves. And you and and you sat down immediately, panting for breath. I shouldn't that, that. the grammar uh, lost in translation. Panting for breath along with all the rest of the, your soldiers. Apparently, I just keep having soldiers. Like you would think, I'd run out eventually. How many battles can they withstand before they actually either just go crazy or they die? <laughs> All right, first of all, thank you all for coming to our aid. Otherwise, we'd be completely annihilated right now. But now is a question of the other matter. Who are you and what do you want with us? We are humans who have, we are humans who have united and sworn together as a brotherhood to fight against darkness. We are the original human, humans who fought against the war and escaped from the grasp of the corrupted king and the claws of the shadow. Uh, what? In other words, we are the survivors of the true sons of destiny. I thought for a second, and I got really excited that this was going to be a throwback to the first game where they were going to say, yeah, we're the survivors of the battle in the first game, but it doesn't seem like that's where it's trying to go with this. Wait, wait, but I thought, but the king, the king has been corrupted long before the war was over. He struggled bravely, and his last orders were us to sneak away before the shadows completely take over. He gave me command over the surviving troops and took a bare half of them away uh, north while I take the major force Sis to steal away deep into the southwest forest. So basically, you're Deus Ex Machina. Gotcha. Wait, so why the southwest forests? We do not wish for the king to die in vain. His last command was for me to reignite the fires of the Sons of Destiny and muster our forces to fight once more against the Dark Empire. But we require the assistance of the elves, who cannot fight without their strength. Okay, that's actually understandable. But if you're trying to get the elves to support you, why would you assist me in fighting them? See, this, this doesn't make sense, Chief. Well, how, how should I say this? I hate to break it to you, but from what I've heard from the Forest Guardian, the chances of them joining us are as slim as trying to put out the flames with oil. Goy, 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 good, 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 good simile. But there is a chance. From what I've observed, the Forest Guardian is not truly evil. She is currently under the corruption of the shadows. So the Forest Guardian is actually vulnerable to it too okay well that makes a lot of sense that actually does make a lot of sense <laughs> but the forest guardian is strong and she is struggling there's a shadow lurking in the main stronghold of the forest called the heart of the elves he's trying to corrupt the forest guardian using all the hate from the history of feud between humans and elves okay if you knew about this why are you just now telling me about it like you just want to take action against it why didn't you go after this thing sooner you fool and so what is it that you want me to do if she's corrupted then from what i've seen it's too late well, that would have been the case if the corruption level was over 50.999%. That would have been the point where there was no return, but our cleric sensed that she's been 47.85555% corrupted. But before tomorrow, the shadows will corrupt over 50.999% of her heart, and the elves will fall under complete control. The cleric has determined that she is approximately 47.85555% corrupted. That's so stupid. I hate these percentages. So what the fuck do you want me to do? We must storm the heart of the elves, find and slay the shadow responsible for this, because, you know, you couldn't have done it sooner. We must hurry. I fear we have only less than 12.5 hours left tonight. At the midst of the night, we shall strike the fort and kill the shadow, freeing the elves from corruption. As for the history, well, don't worry. I'm good with women. Get some rest. 
Uh, we shall strike at midnight. All right, this guy's got a huge dick. I got you. I got you. I get you, game. I pick up what you're stepping in. This dude's dick is huge. It's a question of why he's waited so long to strike against uh, his force of darkness. Surely he had the forces to do so. Why did he wait for me? And if I wasn't, uh, if I wasn't to show up, would he have done it without me? And if so, why wait till the last minute like this? Very, very interesting. Okay, so this is obviously going to be a battle against the elves. Uh, this is that battle where I'm going to be taking on the darkness. The darkness. Hey, hey, I didn't unlock anything. Lazlin, you said I would get Hobbit if I visited the credits. You are a lying bitch. There, I said it. Lying bitch. Because I see no... I see no Hobbit. It appears they're coming close to my castle, so I think the only fair thing to do is to buy some, uh, some dwarves that act as a temporary defense mechanism. And I'll send three of them out there. Go get them, guys. Go get them. Make me proud. Make me proud. Look at this. It's a ragtag group of, uh, elite troops here. Unstoppable. Which I had hobbits. Hobbits would make this even better. So they should have they should have the ability to stun with their hits, because then the first game they could uh, their their axe their uh, axe swings were electrified. So actually it looks like they're getting their asses. Ah well I don't know they're they're doing okay actually. They are doing half bad. It does look like I'm gonna have to defend while I'm trying to get my mana up because uh, pinche arrows aren't doing enough for me. Or I could just, you know, upgrade my castle. So I can actually max out my archery for 1,000 mana. Boom. Maxed out archery. I like how the castle actually changes whenever you max it out. Oh, wow. It turns, like, this weird shade of white. So I'm going to impose a challenge upon myself. With the mana that I have, I'm going to attempt to beat this without using paladins. And I know you are looking at me like, what the fuck? Why? And the reason why is because it's too easy, in theory, to save up to 9,999 mana and spam paladins, and I will literally just win every game, because my arrows are sufficient enough to withstand this, and too many paladins will just destroy the castle too fast. So the challenge this game is to create an army that doesn't have paladins in it, that is able to beat that castle, and maybe even beat the revenge waves that come out. So the first thing I think I'm going to need to do is I need to buy some wizards, because wizards are slow. So wizards are going to be the key. They just uh, spam a shit ton of them. Because as you can see, I have uh, plenty of mana right now. And yeah, wizards are like slow. So I want a bit, uh, shit ton of them. Just because... I know that A, they're really fucking good. As you can see, they have stun mechanics. And it's not a... Uh, it's not splash damage like it was in the first game, which is kind of sad, but I'm okay with it. So just a bunch of wizards. Uh, I'm going to buy a trebuchet because I can. In fact, I'm going to buy... I'm going to buy some clerics. Clerics move slowly, but I think they assist with healing. Oh, wait, they have an attack that is 40 damage. What? I didn't buy you. What the fuck? Since when did I buy you? <laughs> Uh, buying a human knight. Knights can absorb a bit of damage. They have 420 HP compared to a normal troop that has like half of that. And then finally, we're just going to butt spam archers and uh, crossbowmen. Yeah, I'm also going to pop in some other troops because, you know, I can just use the hotkeys. I'm just going to spam out troops now because I've gotten everything that I wanted. Music changed. Or dwarves! Get the dwarves in there! The dwarves are gonna be what carry me. The music changes is whenever the game notices how much fucking shit I have out in the field. I have an ungodly amount of mana, so I'm just spamming an ungodly amount of troops. This is weird not having paladin. I'm not gonna lie, it's weird. Uh, so I actually want to see how well I can fare against their revenge wave whenever I actually have like a concentrated force as you can see I'm really bringing the I'm bringing the spam 
Oh man, I actually am running out of mana though. All right, well expect the revenge wave soon. Damn, they might not even get it. Uh oh, here they come. Ooh, shit. Yeah, I think the castle's gonna die before the. Oh, there they are. There they are. There they are. It does look like they're gonna be able to uh, get in there and stop me from finishing off their castle. Wow, that is a fuck ton of them. Jesus Christ. <laughs> look at this shit. Look at this battle. Kill them all! Shit, I need to like start spamming out some shit now. Oh, what the fuck? Look at this shit! <laughs> They have a fucking cannon! Not cool, dude! Not cool! Fight back with everything you've got, soldiers! There's so much blood! Dude, they're mowing the grass with me right now. Holy fuck, why? Please stop. Actually, it looks like I'm slowly dwindling them. I actually have arrows aimed down on them now. Do not stop. Actually, I'm gonna use the arrows to kill this shit in the back. Holy fuck. What the fuck, man? Arrows in the back to deal out the damage back there. Is this enough, guys? Is this enough to stop them? I'm running low on mana, so that's unfortunate. Unfortunately, they're running low on troops. I need these arrows to really take out these archers in the back. That's like the, my, my issue right now. Because these guys are actually dwindling down. Like I'm actually killing all of them. Still haven't bought a paladin yet. I was thinking if this gets really bad, I might buy a paladin, but uh, I, I don't know. It's a bit iffy right now. Arrows aren't doing nearly enough damage in the back, but these guys are nearly dead, which means I'm going to be able to refocus my attack back here. So, nice revenge wave. Nice revenge wave wasn't nice enough. Because now I do believe I'm going to return the tides of battle back on them. I want to get some knights so the knights get in the front and my cataphracts stop taking damage. The crossbowmen, but we're going to call them cataphracts because I like that word. Oh, the music changed again whenever I, started, I retook the battle. Hell yes, dude. We freaking won. I, reckon, I I let them bring out a revenge wave and I beat it. And now we're going back to finish the job. Without Paladin, by the way. Let's go. Challenge challenge complete. Hell yeah, the music's all pumped up too. Let's go. And I didn't even max out my mana? I feel good about that. I feel good about that. I think these uh, trebuchet... Uh, which is not what a trebuchet looks like at all, but I think these trebuchet are actually what did a lot of that damage because I'm pretty sure they do splash damage and uh, Yeah, they were just lobbing fucking rocks at all those swordsmen Also like yeah now you're gonna like they don't give me stats on their unique units like their elven archers but uh, I don't even know if they're gonna send more revenge waves. I don't think they have any more to send it's not like it matters. Look at all my clerics doing their little hippie dance back there. Let's go, dude. That was awesome. <laughs> Research. 10,000! <laughs> Jesus. So this actually enables cannons. I'll definitely want to get that. Does that cost $10,000? What the fuck? Oh, wait. That also gave me the uh, elemental arrow. That, that's why that was worth so much. Level 5. The last level gives me the maxed out arrows. 8 arrows per shot. Elemental arrows level 2. 2 elemental arrows per shot. The super arrow. An unlimited reign of arrows for 8 seconds. That's such a long... Uh, that's such a long duration for super arrows. Um, so I'm guessing that's what those lightning bolts above or the trebuchets are on the little uh, UI thing. I'm guessing that little lightning bolt's going to be for the super arrow. So super arrow. The max level uh, barracks just gives me paladin level 3. Uh, and then the max level academy just gives me wizards level 3. It's hard to say what... Uh, wait, I can use the elf race now. Oh yeah, because in that one I killed the darkness and obtained the elves. So I actually have elves now. And I start out with 5,000. Ooh. Elven tower. So... Level 1 arrow, 2 arrows per shot. I'm wondering if how much different these are going to be from the actual uh, humans. 
Oh, I didn't mean to buy that. Whoops. But uh, I would have probably bought it anyway. Assassin level 1, Fighter level 2. So they have different names. That's kind of cool. Elf Apprentice level 3, max level. Elf Apprentice? Okay. Uh, Elven Archery. Click the button to increase your Elven Archery maximum level to 2. Enables the Hunter level 1. I think the I don't think the hunter was the big guy with the sword. Those guys are fucking nuts. And then the Elven Academy maximum level enables healer unit level one. So the the their version of cleric is called healer. So I guess that kind of solves what they do. Two thousand fifty hunter level one twenty points to max mana. Uh, I have fifteen hundred. So Phantom Archer. I'm gonna get Phantom Archer. That sounds fucking cool. Actually, this ends all of these here. I have to beat this one for the next stories down here to continue. So we've unlocked elves, which means that now I should be able to go back and... Yeah, I can go back and play under the elves now for all of them. I think I'm going to wait. I think I'm going to wait. It's interesting. I thought that I wouldn't be able to like play as elves until I finish the game, and then maybe I'd get to play through it again as an elf, but... Turns out I unlock them mid-game, so that's interesting. But then I can choose to use them as well. <laughs> of course, I'm going to stick to humans because I have my humans almost maxed out. I don't want to put my elves up against a freaking... Uh, against a, an enemy that's, like, way more advanced than I am. So anyway, yeah, guys. Save there. And this has been one hell of an episode. Thank you all for watching. I'm glad that this challenge I, I did made things a little bit more interesting. And I will see all of you in the next episode. Bye, guys!